Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less, I'm Joe Barretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. What's your favorite animal? I don't know, like a walrus. Cool. A new company just popped up online that'll let you genetically design your own stingray, but this is not for pet reasons. The stingray will be humanely grown and then killed and then turned into a one-of-a-kind shoe that you can put on your feet. Sounds kind of pricey, huh? Well, they are. They're made by Rayfish Footwear and they're going to set you back about $1,800. And if you think this is an advertisement, it's not because we think it's stupid. What they do is kind of fascinating on a Jeff Corwin meets Dr. Frankenstein kind of level because the customer chooses up to nine different stingray patterns, oh boy, from 29 different styles of stingray leathers. Then the company goes all Dr. Frankenstein on the genetic level and they combine the DNA of all the chosen patterns, and they make a one-of-a-kind stingray. If you're thinking this is dumb, don't worry, so do we. Then that stingray is raised in a very loving stingray household until it reaches stingray maturity, and just before it leaves off to stingray college to find its true inner stingray self, the stingray is harvested for its one-of-a-kind stingray skin. I wonder if they're gonna send customers picture updates of their stingrays, like, oh, here's my baby stingray. Oh, and my toddler stingray. Oh, here's my child-sized stingray. And my teenager stingray. And here's my shoes. Oh man, a lot of people are not gonna like this. But before you get on your high horse about the stingrays, first of all, here's a fact. Stingrays are called stingrays because they sting you, okay? And keep in mind that you probably use animal stuff every day. Because here's what the stingray shoe people say about growing, genetically altering and then killing stingrays for shoes. Stingray leather, also known as chagrin, has been prized for centuries for its beauty and durability. It's been used for furniture, fashion, even sword grips and armor. All rayfish footwear leather is produced from humanely raised stingrays at our Thai aquaculture facility. And our patented production process, we combine ancient wisdom with cutting edge techniques to create a product that's as sustainable as it is fashion forward. So I bet you kind of learned something there. I bet you, you know, feel enlightened. So instead of making one awesome, one of a kind sword sheaths, they make shoes, whatever. Anyway, you slice it, $1,800 is a stupid price to pay for shoes. Yeah, it's super stupid. I just don't understand why you go to such ridiculous lengths for shoes. Why even bother with the controversy? If there's a major selling point here, it's that no two pairs are the same. And if you really are down with that, then I have a business proposal for you. I'm officially looking for backers to fund my new line of sneakers. They're called Haydens. They're named after my daughter. Her name is Hayden. The process is simple. I set her up with a bunch of crayons, some Dora fruit snacks, and a sippy cup full of soy milk. On her own time, she'll pick up those crayons and go crazy making colorful designs on computer paper. Trust me, no two designs are gonna be the same. I'll then harvest those designs and throw them on some shoes. Haydens will put you back about $500, but you'll be the only one kicking around in a specific pair of kicks. Haydens, color your world. That's brilliant. I'll take two. Great. I hope you like pink. It's her favorite. Perfect. I'll also take some Dora fruit snacks. Good. They're delicious. Fantastic. So what's the stupidest purchase you've ever made? Let us know in the public forum down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot. If you could click that like button, if you'd like to see more of our faces, you can subscribe or you can go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. And mine is Joe Beretta. Thanks for coloring our world. Yeah.